Well, hello, my name is Christopher Scott, and I am a small groups pastor of a local church. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how do you grow your small group in the number of people that attend. Maybe you've got some, uh, some guys that have been meeting in a small group. There's four of you, you've been meeting for a year or two, but you want to grow it. You want to influence more guys, you want to positively affect more guys um, in, through your small group, so how do you grow it? Or maybe you're in a women's group, and you've had the same seven ladies for five years. You want to mix it up a little bit. You know everybody in your group, you know what everybody thinks, and you want to invite some new ladies into your group uh, so that you can grow through your relationships with other people, not just through the studies that you're doing together. So in this video, I'm gonna give you six categories of people that you as a facilitator and your small group members can use to invite people into your group. So six different categories. I'm borrowing this from the book, uh, Planning Small Groups with Purpose by Steve Gladen, pages 182 to 183. He talks about the six Fs that their church uses to um, get people into their small groups, that their small groups use to get people into small groups, if that makes sense. So page 182 through 183, of the book Planning Small Groups with Purpose. I'll put a link down there in the description to Amazon and it's affiliate link. So if you buy something, I do get a commission to let you know, but I'll put that in there in case you might wanna purchase that book. So the six Fs, what are the six categories? They're in Fs, so there's six Fs. You know, in school we always were taught an F is bad, but for the sake of inviting people to your small group, Fs are good, all right? So six Fs. First is friends, second is family, Third is a factory or firm where you work. Fourth is fun. Fifth is frequent. And then sixth is faceless. So let me give you a brief explanation of each of these. Friends, these are the friends that you have. People you know, people that you see, people that you talk to regularly. Those are some people that you can invite into your small group, okay? Or even better yet, if you go to church and you see people you know at church, maybe they're people you've been friends with a long time with, that go to church, or maybe they're friends that you make by attending church or going to church events. Invite those people into your small group and see if they're in a small group and they might wanna try one. Or maybe they've been in one for a while and they want a little change, so you can invite them to your small group to mix it up for them. Family is another category, that's the second F. This is uh, you know, your parents, your in-laws, your brothers, your sisters, your brother and sister-in-laws, your, you know, your cousins, people like that, that you can invite to your small group that live near you. Third is factory or firm. Factory or firm is the uh, people that you work with, the people that you spend eight hours a day with, that you know a lot about, that you know might have questions about God or wanna get to know God, and invite them into your small group, especially if your small group's gonna be doing a topic or a study that you think the person would be interested in. Say, so you don't have to join us for the next 10 years, but we're gonna be talking about you know the Holy Spirit for a couple months. Maybe you'd wanna come try um, you know, our study and learn more about the Holy Spirit. That's just an idea, okay? Fifth is frequent. These are, uh, I'm sorry, fourth is fun. These are the things that you do, like you go to the gym, you go play golf, you, uh, you have a favorite store you often go to, things like that. These are the fun hobbies that you have, okay? People to interact with. Frequent is the places you regularly go. It's that barista at your coffee shop that you see every single morning and that you have a little chit chat or face you know, talk with or it's the lady that checks you out at the grocery store. Every single week, the same guy is there checking you out, uh, checking out your groceries, so maybe you invite him to your small group. And then there's faceless. That's the sixth F, faceless. And that is the people that God divinely puts into your life, people that you happen to meet, people that you happen to run into, right? So maybe you're at church and you're trying to meet people um, you know, during the, you know, the welcome time and you see someone that looks a little lost and he's sitting by himself in the corner and you walk up there and you sit with them and you introduce yourself and you find out, hey, he grew up in church, he hasn't been to a church in 20 years, but life has been tough and he came back to church. And what better way than for you as a facilitator to have been the person that walked up to him and now you can invite him into your small group and get to know him better and serve, serve and help him, right? So that's faceless. So friends, family, factory firm, fun, frequent, and then faceless. Those are the six categories. So how do I grow my group with these six categories? How do I grow my group, right? So there's three things you wanna do, three steps. Number one, pray. Pray that God would bring you people that you can meet and talk to and invite to your group. And not just you as a facilitator, but pray that God would work through the members of your group to invite people to your small group. Number two, start to look, right? Be aware, pray about it when you go to church, pray about it when you're at work, about the people that you might be able to invite. 
Third, actually invite them, right? Say, hey, we're gonna be starting a new study in my small group. I was wondering if you might wanna check it out. You know, it's only a six week study, it's pretty short. You don't have to stick with us for the next 10 years, but we'd love to have you visit if you might like. Or say, hey, the small group I'm in is doing a potluck this week. Would you wanna come and just have dinner? Meet some of the people I'm in community with and see if they like them and then they might wanna try, right? So that's what you wanna do. Pray, look, and then invite. So. My name is Christopher Scott. If you like this video and want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe up there. If you want other small group facilitator tips, I got a bunch of videos up there. If you want to learn how to use uh, the Warren Wearsby Bible study guides in your small group, which is what our church uses, I got some videos down there that will show you how to do that. If you want to use DVDs in your small group, we really like the Chip Ingram Living on the Edge materials. I got some videos down there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again in another video.